My name is uh, Katie Cresswell Maynard. I'm the Chief Executive of Engineers Without Borders UK. So the reason I became an engineer was because I always wanted to do something that would make a difference. That would make a difference to the planet, that would make a difference to the people that live on this planet. Not just today, but for generations to come. And for me, engineering was exactly that. Uh, I could see that I could use both the creative side of my mind as well as my, uh, my interest for science and, and maths, um, but bring them together in a way that I could actually focus all of my attention on making the world a better place. At Engineers Without Borders, a big part of what we do is about putting global responsibility at the heart of engineering decision making. The reason that we think that this is important is because engineering is actually a uniquely global profession. The decisions of engineers, wherever they're working, whatever projects they're working on, and wherever those projects are, have both a local and global impact. Especially if we think about civil engineers. So if you think about what a civil engineer does, the type of projects they work on, just down to the very materials that they source to build the buildings that, they, uh, that they've designed, those materials will have been dug out of the ground somewhere else in the world and had both environmental and social impact. So much so that apparently we, as in human beings, are responsible for moving more natural resources every single year than nature itself. I think that's amazing, I think that's inspiring, but along with that comes a great sense of responsibility. Today I'm standing in the ICE's new exhibition, Invisible Superheroes, which is all about celebrating 200 years of the institution of civil engineers, highlighting the key role that engineers play in addressing the needs of people all around the world. We want to highlight the social impact and purpose of engineering so that young people all around uh, the world, particularly in the UK, can understand the difference that they can make as an engineer. So what does that look like? Well, for example, here in the Invisible Superheroes exhibition, we're looking at heroes such as Joseph Basseljet, who brought sanitation to millions of people, not just here in London, but all around the world, saving people from communicable diseases such as diarrhoea and cholera. So our work is all about continuing the work of people like Joseph Basseljet in parts of the world uh, where access to improved sanitation, clean water, uh, clean energy and a resilient built environment is still not available to them. For example, our work with our partner in Kenya uh, is focused on um, addressing the needs of the community in Kibera. Kibera is an informal settlement or what some people might refer to as a slum. So Kibera provides an important housing niche for people who live in Nairobi. And whilst it's a dynamic, exciting and vibrant community and place to live, Unfortunately, there are still some serious infrastructure challenges that the people living there are challenged by. There is limited access to improved sanitation and access to water is also a key issue. So when twice a year, Nairobi experiences torrential rainfall, well, the people of Kibera are more adversely affected by that rain than the rest of the people living in Nairobi. This is because Kibera is situated near the Nairobi River, so they're close to an existing water source, but also because of the build-up of waste, be that plastic, um, as well as human waste, because it's, it's unfortunately not dealt with at the moment um, in an efficient manner, it means that all of the waterways and drainage systems throughout Kibera are blocked up. And so when the rains fall, that water has nowhere to go. It rises up and infiltrates into the houses of the people that live there. Obviously this causes damage to those people's houses. It also increases the likelihood of disease spreading. So what we've been doing is working uh, with a community partner based in Kibera and identifying engineers with key skills to help them address this challenging problem. So our engineers have been working with that community partner to, in the first place, improve the waste management that's occurring so that the community of Kibera can deal with their own waste first and foremost in a sustainable way. And second, the work that we've been doing is that our engineers have been working with that community partner to build in flood resilience and flood protection into the way that the built environment of, of Kibera is constructed. So in a way, our engineers are just like the invisible superheroes in this exhibition. The work that they do may go unnoticed by the community, but in fact, the impact that they have on those people's lives will have a significant difference on the ability of people to access a good education, access a good job, and live healthy, safe, and happy lives. We have engineers from all sorts of different backgrounds and disciplines, uh, from civil engineers, structural engineers, geotechnical engineers, mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, electronic engineers, um, 
Aerospace engineers, believe it or not, uh, we've had someone from the European Space Agency come and work with us. Uh, so I think that only goes to highlight actually how important it is that engineers from all different types of backgrounds work together. Uh, there is no one way to solve the challenges of the world around us. Uh, we need lots of different skill sets, lots of different backgrounds, lots of different ideas uh, to address those challenges. By 2050, there will be 9 billion people living on this planet. Uh, the majority of those people will be living in urban environments. And those environments have been designed, constructed, built and maintained by engineers. So the role engineers play in, in my life and in your life and the lives of generations to come will to a certain extent very heavily depend on the decisions of engineers. And so if you're interested in making a difference to change the lives of people now and in years to come, then why don't you also consider becoming one of these invisible superheroes? Become an engineer and make a difference.